Hey everyone, now they've acquired the basic differentiation skills, whether it's for the trigonometry, whether it's for exponential or logarithm, it's time to actually move on to more composite functions. All right. So composite functions are basically where we have, you know, two of the different types of mathematical notations put together as one function and you have to learn how to differentiate them. I've actually done this already. For example, when I showed you the example of sine x squared, this is kind of a composite function, but let's take a look at more uh, other types of uh, composite functions. So for example, let's say we have sine ex, okay? To differentiate this, it's almost the same thing. It's exactly the same thing, actually. Sine becomes cosine ex, right? Now, differentiate inside, same thing. Differentiate ex, we're giving back ex, so ex. Let's say y equals to e sine x. Similarly, when you differentiate it, you get back e sine x, right? e sine x. D again, differentiate inside. So differentiate sine x, I get cosine x. So it's basically not of a difference, right? It's just applying the same rules, same formula. Again, it's nothing too complicated, okay? Obviously, it can get even more uh, complicated. So let's just say e cosine x. Then you must, you must be careful with this, all right? So from left to right, right? Do the one on the left first. So trigonometry is sine, right? The left one is sine. So it becomes cosine. E cosine x. Differentiate inside. So I differentiate E cosine x, I get back E cosine x. Then I differentiate cosine x again to give him back minus sine x. And therefore we have minus E cosine x, sine x, cosine e cosine x okay left to right it's very simple so i repeat the step again all right sine bracket e cosine x first i change sine to cosine because i differentiate cosine first now i differentiate inside i differentiate e cosine x to give him e cosine x times minus sine x and this will be my final answer